Hello guys, how are you? Hope you are at home and stay safe. Now we'll start a new lesson, which is lesson 9, Equilibrium of a Body. Principle of interaction in this picture a case of repulsion between two magnets A and B. If a magnet A exerts a force F A B on a magnet B, this force directed to the right, then magnet B will act by a force FBA or magnet A, okay, directed to the left, such that, okay, these two forces FA on B equal minus FBA vector. This means that the two forces FA on B or F done by B on A have same line of action, horizontal. And same magnitude, F A B equal F B A without vector. But these two forces are these forces have opposite direction. F A B directed to the right, while F B A directed on the to the left. Another example case of attraction: these two magnets A and B are attracted to each other. First, magnet A exerts a force on magnet B. Okay, then the magnet B moves toward A by a force F A B directed to the left. Same, a magnet B exerts a force on magnet A F B A uh, to move the magnet A toward B and yeah, to the right. Okay, then this is a principle of interaction. Condition of equilibrium. When a body is at rest, then we say that this body is in equilibrium, and so the sum of forces acting on it is equal to zero, or it's not. If the body in adjacent figure is at equilibrium, then the sum of all forces acting on is on this body equal to zero. Okay. Condition of equilibrium. For example, in this force, in this picture, of uh, summational force equal to zero vector. Okay, zero vector. Thus, F1 vector plus F2 vector plus F3 vector plus F4 vector equal zero vector. Okay, by the moment. نحن هون بالبريفير رح نخد in case of body acting upon by two forces, F1 and F2. The condition of, of equilibrium in this case, okay, summational force vector equal zero vector. And for example, F1 vector plus F2 vector equal zero vector. Who same in case of equilibrium condition at equilibrium these two forces must be have same magnitude same line of action and opposite direction رح نحكي فيهم بعدين state hooke's law the attention applied on a spring is directly proportional to its elongation by applying this hooke's law or this formula t equal k times delta l okay as delta l increase tension increase Okay, then they are directly proportional to each other. Where delta L is the elongation or compression of the spring, it's expressed in meter. And the SI unit of delta L is meter. Okay, while T, T is the tension which is expressed in Newton, and K it's called stiffness of the spring or spring's constant. Okay, and it's expressed in Newton per meter. In this picture, the first spring has an initial length of zero. When it's sub, uh, when it's uploaded, okay, when it's loaded by, uh, by an object as it's elongated, okay, and become, and it has a new length l. The difference between the first one, يعني the initial length يلي هي l zero, and the new one يلي هي l, okay, it's called delta. L or elongation. Delta L equal L minus L zero. By using Hooke's law formula, okay, T equal K times delta L, we can use, okay, this in order to find delta L, delta L equal T over K, and in order to find K, K equal T times over X. Units of stiffness, Newton per meter to and Newton per centimeter. The SI unit is a Newton per meter. Uh, in case of convert from a Newton to uh, per meter to Newton per centimeter divided by 100, 
and vice versa times 10 to the power 2. The unit of length, millimeter, centimeter, meter, etc. Okay. Two forces acting on the block S are tension and weight. Point of application, our first tension exerted by spring. The point of application A, line of action vertical, direction upward, while weight is exerted by air. Center of gravity, here point of application, line of action vertical, direction downward. Condition at equilibrium, summation of force external force equals zero vector, and W vector plus D vector, okay, equals zero vector. This means W vector equal minus D vector. In this case, you know, T and W tension and weight have opposite direction, while they have same magnitude and same line of this graph shows the variation of tension as function of spring's elongation. Is a, this graph is a straight line passing through the origin. From math, the equation of a straight line passing through the origin is y equal a x. Okay, by comparison with Hooke's law, t equal k times delta l, then k equal slope equal a. And we can find the slope in this case graphically by using this rule. T2 minus T1 over delta L2 minus delta L2 1. We take any, we can take any two points on this graph. Okay. 